What's up my fellow racing nerds? I'm Gaming Seth. Thank you so much for watching another video. Today I just wanted to briefly cover how to customize or paint the underside of a spoiler and this kind of goes for any hard to reach place um, on the car. It, uh, it really is pretty simple once you know which tools to use. So let's jump right in let's create a livery for the 911 GT3 and what we'll do first is actually go to uh, the paint scheme and you can customize if the car has a wing you can customize the color of the wing so um, that is one easy way to do it uh, obviously it's the quickest way and it can be different so you first select the paint for the entire vehicle and then um, you can go back in and customize it uh, for each specific, uh, I guess, section of it. In this case, uh, you know, you have your hood, you have the body, you have the uh, side mirrors, and you have the rear wing. So you can change the color to whatever you want if that's what you're looking for. Now, if you're wanting to do something more like, for example, a carbon fiber look, in which case you'll be adding decals then the process is a little different and this is where I was saying if you know which tools to use it's pretty straightforward so if you scroll down to the rear wing and you actually look at the roof of it you'll have the option to either align as a surface or the camera and so in this case we really want to go with the camera and by holding the L one or R1 buttons you can move the camera angle and that is the direction from which any decal will get projected so in this case if you wanted to do a different underside um, than top view then you can actually change the color to be again whatever you want it to be um, the key is to edit the projection uh, depth and angle and by doing that you can kind of play with it and see where it works for you but um, that's one way the exact same process goes if you want to do a decal with uh, some sort of pattern like like I said carbon fiber or something else and so it will actually be the exact same process um, and you can customize it however you want um, a lot of people don't end up using the angle and depth and it really is a very very powerful tool um, because it allows you to basically apply decals from all sorts of different angles and you can get different effects and cool things like that so anyways uh, that's really all I have but I really appreciate you uh, watching the video if you have any questions be sure and leave them in the comment section below and uh, if you have any uh, suggestions or comments about uh, other parts of the vehicle that you want to see um, decals or patterns applied to just let me know